How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some creepy ghost photos that are starting to freak the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more scary content just like this. There are few things spookier than ghosts caught on film. Photos taken with the intention to simply commemorate a trip or immortalise memories quickly transform into something far more sinister when an unexplained apparition appears in the image. Thanks to modern technology, cameras sometimes reveal something mysterious and creepy on a closer inspection. What appear to be unassuming pictures can suddenly become scary ghost photos. In 2014, Angie Baxter captured this photo at Bay City Hall in Michigan. The story of the hall began in the late 1880s when the city's population was rapidly expanding. The building's construction was fraught with continual setbacks, which resulted in the production taking many, many years. Finally, in 1897, they opened part of the hall. The bottommost floors of the building's clock tower was the only part that ended up being accessible to the public. At first, Angie Baxter's photo of the hall doesn't appear to show anything out of the ordinary. However, when closely examined, it seems that she may have captured a ghostly figure standing in the top right window of the clock tower. The distorted figure becomes clearer when you zoom in tightly on the photo. Could it be possible this image shows the spirit of a worker who might have passed away during the building's lengthy construction? Or is it more likely to be simply a case of pareidolia, the psychological phenomenon that causes our eyes to see things that aren't really there? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Uploaded to Reddit by user Breezy Breezy, this next photo was captured in a home that is thought to be a hotbed for paranormal activity. The intended subject of this image is a little girl playing with her grandmother. However, this is completely overshadowed by what appears to be a faded, ghost-like woman lurking in the background. The woman has long dark hair and is looking directly at the grandmother seated on the couch. Neither the original poster nor the family could recognise the figure as someone familiar to them. The poster also explains that many odd occurrences have taken place in this house. Vases have supposedly been seen flying across the room and knocking sounds have been heard coming from doors. However, when someone opens them, there's no one there. Several people, including the young girl pictured in this photo, have also claimed to have seen imaginary people. In fact, the poster's sister-in-law is said to have had a full conversation with a spirit named George. Given the creepy stories surrounding the building, not to mention the ghostly figure seen in this photo, it's easy to see why this family believes they're living in a haunted house. Could this photo uploaded to Reddit by user Underground Lime be evidence of a ghost, or perhaps even more frightening, a home intruder? Bored and home alone, the poster decided to take a selfie using a Snapchat filter. However, it seems that being bored was the least of her worries, as she may not have been alone after all. There, lurking in the darkness of the hallway, there appears to be a figure peering towards the camera. Another Reddit user by the name of Not James Marsden took it upon themselves to adjust the exposure of the photo, revealing that the figure actually looks like a woman. While the photographer never did find out just who or what she had managed to capture in her photo, we can only hope, for her sake, that this truly was a ghost caught on film and not an actual home invader. Captured by Slapped Ham viewer Oswald Fan 001, this picture is one of the oddest scary ghost photos on this list. As the uploader explains, the image was captured while they were taking a wintertime walk with their grandma outside of their house. Whilst on their walk, the pair saw some bugs that are not generally seen in wintertime. This piqued the grandmother's interest and she attempted to take a picture of them. Instead, she captured something rather strange. Exposed in the photo is an odd glowing cluster. What's more, the cluster seems to be bathed in light beams. In the uploader's description, they also pointed out that there's actually a shape that looks like a child's face at the end of the beams, 
and it's as though the light is emanating from the face itself. They also mention that the flash on their camera was not on when the picture was taken. At the time, they were unsure of what they were seeing, so they decided to take a few more pictures. Inexplicably, the cluster was not present in any subsequent photos. One of the most confusing and inexplicable pictures we've seen yet, this photo leaves a lot of room for analysis. What do you think could be causing this strange glowing cluster? Is it simply a trick of the light, or is a supernatural explanation more likely to be the case? As we've seen, many homes have a long-standing reputation for being haunted. The best way to substantiate these rumours is to capture evidence on film. This is how Reddit user Humble Raisin captured this photo. Convinced that his friend's grandmother's home was haunted, the Reddit user decided to explore the property late at night, in an attempt to capture evidence of any resident spirits. This photo was taken during the investigation and shows an eerie view of a dark room. Inside of the room, there appears to be an ominous shadowy figure whose outline is distinct against the darkness. What stands out the most, however, are the two brightly glowing eyes. While it's unclear if the figure is standing up or sitting down, its oddly shaped body is certainly disconcerting and it would probably be one of the creepiest possible things to have haunting your house. However, the poster explains that the family actually believe the spirit to be good in nature. Although it seems to be the last thing that comes to mind when viewing this photo, perhaps looks can be deceiving. One can only hope the mysterious figure seen in this photo really does mean well. This image posted to Reddit by user LadyofOz83 is something entirely different. Instead of a hastily snapped picture of a ghostly figure, this photo is a screenshot of a text conversation between two friends. The poster explains that their mother had passed away some time ago. However, this screenshot details how her spirit visited their friend in a dream during the middle of the night. In the message, the friend initially inquires if anyone in the poster's family was ever known as Bug. Then the poster confirms that it is in fact their youngest son's nickname. The friend continues by explaining that they think the poster's deceased mother might have visited them in a dream. The friend says that in the dream, the two of them were talking and that the poster's mum had asked them to tell her Bug she loved him. The old lady then grabbed the friend on the arm and said, tell all of them I love them. Describing the dream, the friend goes on to explain just how real it felt. After they awoke, they struggled for breath and their body was even temporarily paralyzed. Given that the friend had no previous knowledge of the poster's son's nickname, this text message really does make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. That, combined with the eerie and unsettling feeling that the friend claims to have experienced upon waking from the dream, certainly tends to indicate that this could indeed have been a spirit's attempt to make contact with their family. As one Redditor pointed out, dreams are often seen as a doorway to the astral plane, and sometimes allow our deceased loved ones to communicate with us. Perhaps this entity couldn't find her way directly to her daughter, and therefore settled for appearing in the dreams of a friend, who might have been more open to spiritual communication. So what do you think? Would you ever want to be contacted by a ghost in your dreams? Or would you prefer to keep your dreams free from the supernatural? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a ghostly child that may have manifested on camera, remember to hit that subscribe button and give that bell there a little tickle. That way you'll be notified about all our latest scary and creepy content. The final photo on our list was uploaded to Reddit by user Kylie M. Woods. Taken by a friend to capture the uploader and their daughter enjoying a swim while on holidays in Queensland, Australia, it seems that the image could show more than what was originally intended. If you look closely at the photo, a second child appears to be sitting in the uploader's lap. They look to be roughly around the same age as their daughter, and while some may be spooked by the mysterious appearance, 
the poster explains that they have nothing but good thoughts when looking at the picture. However, if this photo does indeed show the spirit of a young child, it seems to also suggest that not all ghosts are malevolent in nature. Still, there is something a little bit unsettling about the image despite the uploader's positivity. Some fellow Redditors wondered whether a child had gone missing in the area, and that this was their spirit making contact with the living. So what do you think? Does this image really show the ghost of a child? Or is it more likely that the light and poor camera quality are responsible for the strange figure's appearance? Unfortunately, we may never learn the truth behind this mysterious photo. If you want to see some more weird photos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a scary playlist right there. Leave us a comment down below which one of these photos you thought was the weirdest or scariest. Love to get your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 